looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my Team of the Year predictions for Madden 21, guys. Now, as you guys do know, Team of the Year is coming out pretty soon. They have not exactly announced it, but the timeline from January has always been a playoffs promo, maybe a series update potentially. You know, that's just not, not that it's always in January, it's just, you know, there might be one. But promo wise, it's always been playoffs, and then between the first, uh, the 10th and the 20th team of the year, and then towards the latter end of the month, just some more playoff content. And then, of course, we do have the Super Bowl promo, usually starts around then, and then we have some more hints towards the NFL honors. But Team of the Year does start around this time, so we do know it's coming probably shortly. I don't know when they'll reveal it. So today is, I believe, Wednesday. So more than likely, I believe they will be saying something about it at least towards the end of this week. Maybe it'll come out next Monday. But I have some predictions. I'm going to go over who I think can get it, guys. I feel like some of these are pretty much shoe but I'll go over that. It's over my good board Madden pack. 77 gold, one of the best that I've gotten in a while out of these packs. All right, so let's head over. So you guys know the way I'm going to run this video. I'm going to go through the auction block. And I'm going to show you guys the players, I think, and where their last cards are. So I'm going to go over, well, let's say, let's say I think that Jonathan Taylor is going to get a running back team of the year. I go to Jonathan Taylor's last card, and I'll show you what I think he could end up looking like at like a 96 overall. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to below, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like the video, and of course, guys, if you haven't already, um, if you guys need any coins, head over to Mart Reserve and use code Poodle for the 30% discount. The holiday discounts are still going on, so make sure you are taking advantage of picking up some coins. But let's head on over. Now, as far as overalls, guys, what do we think? So, I was thinking about this. I think, it, obviously, it's going to be between 96 and 98. Now, typically, they max out at 98. So I feel like they may keep that trend because if not, they'll be giving us 99s already. So, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go with we're probably only going to get 96 and 97s and then power it up to 97 98 just because that's probably what I'm doing. So, let's start from the back end of this. Let's start with the offensive linemen. Now, the thing with offensive linemen, guys, is it's hard to predict. So I didn't really predict too many. So the thing with them is that I'm going to tell you guys a few guys who I know just because of Madden's purposes might get one. And, you know, just for that reason alone. But it's going to be hard to predict offensive linemen just because, like, who they don't, you know, it's hard to judge, like, who they're going to end up picking. So I picked uh, Teron Armstead. We'll probably end up getting an upgrade just because of the fact that it's Teron Armstead. He's one of the best uh, left tackles in the league. And, you know, he's one of those cards with it. Because that's kind of what they do. They just kind of pick some of the best offensive linemen in the game and they just give them upgrades. So I imagine um, Teron Armstead will get one. And uh, don't worry, after the offensive line, we'll get good stuff. And then Quentin Nelson, of course. And I'm not going to go through a whole line. Like, these are just the two guys I'm pretty sure will be shooting to get one. Quentin Nelson. And it'll be, like, that one surprise lineman that, like, had a pretty good year, like, based on pro football focus and whatever. But Quentin Nelson probably ends up getting another upgrade as well. His last card was a 93-1, but he'll probably get another one because it's Quentin Nelson. That's enough of the linemen. If you guys have some favorite linemen, you like, at the end of the day, linemen don't even really, you know, matter like that. You just go pick whichever ones have some good stats, and you go rock with them. So, let's get the tight end now. Tight end, I feel like it has to be far and away. Kelsey, Kelsey broke a record this year, and honestly, he was the only tight end worth speaking about this year. Not that like guys like Darren Waller didn't do good, but you know, Kittle was hurt, which is usually this competition for Team of the Year tight end. Evan Ingram, you know, typical Evan Ingram. He stayed more healthy than usual, but Giants offense just wasn't all there. And then, of course, Darren Waller had a good year, but it wasn't Travis Kelsey's year. So, the only way Kelsey doesn't get the upgrade here is if Madden wants to be, you know, messy with it and wants to, like, throw us off a little bit, but... Travis Kelsey has a 90 overall. I suspect he'll get a 96. That probably leaves him at around an 89 speed. Is what I think. 89 speed, above 80 strength. And the beauty of this car is that he will have all above 90 catching and all above 90 route running. Now, the medium route running may only get like an 89, but you can power that up with play fake. And then his run block will get like 76. So he ends up being a all-around beast tight end. Still not the best tight end in the game, sadly, because that's just the thing with Kelsey cars. They just don't become the best tight end in the game lately. Uh, they don't give him enough speed or enough run block. But he does have some after the catch ability. He does have a decent stiff arm at 81. Good, decent juke. Decent break tackled 80. Uh the car will be the car will be good. I don't think it'll be game changing. If you have a Chiefs team team, it'll be you know, better. But yeah. That's just the nature of tight end this year. Next guys for our wide receiver predictions, Tyree Kill. I think Tyree Kill gets one. Honestly, I don't know how he doesn't get one. He was like the best receiver in the league this year. And not just like stats wise, like he quite literally did some insane stuff, like that Tyree Kill he was able to make, he made some crazy plays this year. He was mossing people. Like he did some crazy stuff. He was a he was an all world receiver this year. He could run routes. He could catch in traffic. He could make people miss. He burned just about at least once a game. He burned someone. It was crazy. And the only times he didn't score deep 
They have like my home over through him or the, or the play the play with bat, honestly, because that's kind of how that went. But let's check out Tyreek Kill here. So a 93 Tyreek Kill. I suspect that he'll get another 96 as well. I don't know. I don't think he'll get the 97 overall. I'll probably go to the quarterback, maybe. But let's say he gets 96 overall, plus three there. He probably ends up with I'd say a 96 speed plus a power up. So he ends up getting a 97 speed total. He finally gets all the catching thresholds. He's above 90 in all of them. And the only one he's not is catching traffic, which I think goes on the play fake. And he gets all the route thresholds naturally. He ends up being the best receiver in the game with that 97 speed. He ends up blowing away just about everyone speed-wise, which is crazy. And he may even get a 98 speed, guys. Don't underestimate it. Because Tekla is a plus 3. A well, plus 4 when he's powered up. So there's a chance he could get to a 97 speed uh, off of the rip, which would give him a 98 powered up. Chemed up. But I don't want to get mad. You know, I don't want to give him that much faith just yet. So I'll stick with that. Now, I do have some honorable mentions, but remember, I think there's two receivers here, so we do have a second guy now. This guy seems kind of like a lock as well. He had a great year, and he even started off a bit injured, and he still had a great year uh, numbers-wise. Devontae Adams, I think, has to get a card here. His last card was the 8-9 team of the week. So, Devontae Adams gets a 96 over. He gets a plus 7 increase here. Not some actually plus 8 because he gets the power up to 97. So, a plus 8 increase. I think he ends up with about a 93 speed. Which kind of sucks. That's, that's the nature of team of the year. Uh, guys like Devontae Adams. He gets a 93 speed. Um, he gets a, like a 94 jumping. 94 catch. 93 catch in traffic. Probably a 90 spec. And he gets all the route running thresholds. So he ends up getting all the route running thresholds with 93 speed. He's going to be a bunch better receiver than usual. But of course his speed's going to be way too low. And we have guys like Tyreek Kill pushing 97, 98. Now honorable mentions is going to be Stefan Diggs. Stephon Diggs had an insane year. They were talking about him as like an MVP candidate at this point. Now, the only thing with Stephon Diggs is going to be that I think, like I said, Adams and Tyreek didn't have it too good of a year. But again, maybe they think Tyreek's blitz card was too soon. So maybe they give you Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs, he would have a plus five overall when he's powered up. So he would end up having, I think he would probably get to a 94, 95 speed. So that's great. Above 90 jumping, he'll have all above 90 catching and all above 90 route running. He'd be one of the better receivers in the game, but only if he gets to a 95, 96 speed, but I think he ends up with a 94, 95. And then another honorable mention for receiver is going to be Justin Jefferson. Now, I'm not going to show you guys stats him because, again, that's just like literally my honorable mention. To fullback for team of the year, I'm going to be going with Kyle. I'm not going to say it, I'm going to call him Juice because that just sounds easier. Now, as you do know, guys, he typically gets, it's always between him or like James Devlin. I'm just going to go with him. I don't know who they'll pick for fullback. It's hard. But it ended up being pretty good. A fullback version of him, like a 95 overall, probably ends up with like. And powered up too, right? So he can get like probably an 88 speed, 87 speed. 87 speed with well above 90 impact blocking, lead blocking, and close to 90. And maybe even 90 run blocking if you can get the zone, you know, zone run all the way up or whatever it is, whatever gets his run block up. He could probably be, he would be really good because if he gets the 88 speed, he would be a great lead blocker in a lot of running schemes on like uh, run, you know, like leading for stretches, leading for isos, leading for dives. He could be really, really good. Honestly, don't don't sleep on Kyle as a really, really good blocker and useful player in your scheme. Now, running back. I feel like running back's going to be a shoe in here as well. I don't know, these, feel, these feel very like automatic. Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook had an insane year. Had one of the greatest stretches I've ever seen from a running back where he was like just dropping touchdowns left and right. His last card was his 90 overall Redux card. So I feel like he's definitely in line for a card. And they've been saving him for this now. And this Dalvin Cook will probably end up being... He could be the 97 overall. So let's... Let's predict him at a 98, right? He could be that guy. So let's say he gets plus 8 overalls here. He probably ends up... I think they have to give him a 95 speed. He gets a 95 speed. He ends up with like a 95 excel. 95 agility. 90 carry. Ends up the buff 70 carry. He may get to 98, 99 change of direction. It's it's possible. I don't remember if there's any cams that bring that up. His break tackle ends up above a 90. And his juke and everything else, of course, goes up with that. His juke ends up closer to a 99. His change of direction close to 99. His spin was going to be probably low 90s. And his break tackle going to be in the 90s. This card ends up being an overall beast. Will he be the best running back? It really depends. But sometimes if you have enough elusiveness, could push him over that like Bo Jackson threshold and make him more like a glitchy version like Barry Sanders. And then guys, for quarterback, we have Josh Allen as the final guy on this list here. Josh Allen is going to be super insane if he gets this team of the year card. Now, it makes sense. I was thinking about it. Josh Allen, we've been asking for upgrades all year. He's had, he had a great year. He has him in the playoffs right now, moving through to the second round, the uh, divisional, and he just isn't getting upgrades. I've been wondering why, and I think they're holding it out for a team of the year card. Or maybe if he does really good in the playoffs, he gets some playoff card, but and in that case, I'll give you to my honorable mention. But Josh Allen, 92 overall here. He would get the 97 as well, like Dalvin Cook would. One of them would get it, so he would end up being a 98 overall. Powered up. 
So, as a powered up 98 overall, he would probably end up having above 90 speed. Actually, no, he'd probably end up having a 91 speed. 91 speed, 99 throw power. So you're dealing with Michael Vick, let's say, right? Like, you already have that crazy speed. He's also six foot five, which I feel like height helps from making certain throws as well sometimes. So, especially getting over defenders. He has the height, the speed, and 99 throw power. His short, medium, and deep are all above 90 at this point. And if they're not, it would only be the deep that would be short, and you would just put go deep on him. So he's going to be the only quarterback in the game. He's going to be a strong arm quarterback with 91 speed. Josh Allen would be the new meta quarterback far and away. He would get Gunslinger and all the strong abilities that you want, as well as have a 91 speed and have the 99 throw power and all the thresholds and everything else. And on top of that, guys, he can decently run, too. Like, he has an 82 juke move. He would be like Baby Vic. He would literally be Baby Vic, except he can throw better, and he's going to have the better abilities. And then, as the honorable mention, guys, if Josh Allen gets like some like, you know, some play some playoff L T D card or they don't give it to him, it's gonna be Russell Wilson. Because the other quarterbacks around like Mahomes and Lamar recently got cards. It would be Russell Wilson. Now Russell Wilson kind of, you know, had a bad end to the year. He started off insane but had a bad end. But Russell Wilson as the next card would also make sense. He would have a ninety eight overall as well. He would end up probably in like the eighty eight speed range. 88, 89 speed, probably like ninety three, ninety four throw power. All accurate, all, all threshold accuracy wise. But the issue with him is that Josh Allen's gonna be faster, better throw power, better accuracy, better everything pretty much. Oh, well, not better accuracy, better throw power, better speed. And those are the two glitchy stats, right? Like when you get a slow quarterback, it's like okay, well he has to have good throw power. When you get a fast quarterback, oh no, or when you have a quarterback with like you know less throw power, it's like, okay, well he at least, or bad accuracy, he has to be fast. Russell Wilson isn't that fast, and he also doesn't have that crazy throw power. So. If you compare it to Josh Allen, Josh Allen will have the same thresholds as him, except like plus five to six speed and plus five to six throw power. He has both the crazy stats up already. But yeah, pretty much wraps up the video, guys. It pretty much covers. This is my offensive one, um, to make that clear, because I obviously knew that an offensive and defensive would have taken like 20 minutes plus. I'm going to do my, this is my offensive predictions today. And then the next video, probably tomorrow, you guys will see my defensive team of the year predictions. Because again, I, like, I don't like just naming players and going on with it. I like to break it down, give a little bit of analysis to it, give it some, you know, it's a little bit depth per player and to speak about why, especially team of the year. It's a fun big wrap up promo for the, the year, the regular season. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video, comment down below. If you guys need coins to get ready for team of the year, head on over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Take advantage. But yeah, guys, comment down below your team of the year predictions. Let me know anyone that you think that I should have put on this list. Anyone that you think won't get a card. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.